Hello everyone, Crydex here. Welcome back to our, what is this, Pure Angels playthrough. So I'm glad to be almost done with the fast inserter research. We had a little bit of fun throwing everybody's names in. We got uh, Dugs over here is now a triple Z on, or sorry, double Z's, a triple double Z on the pipes. We got Coniferous in here. We got Brandon in here. So, you know, if you want your name in the game, you just gotta, you gotta hang out on Twitch. It's good stuff. Uh, we are done with fast inserters. Heck yes. So now we need more servos and red circuits. And I can get fast inserters. My goal would be to not have to rebuild all this for a minute. I would love to just make fast inserters like right here. So I'm going to try to do that. Um, so you can go there. Problem is the long inserter can only get to here. So we're going to have to break this up for a second. Because this kind of has to be there. Oh, shoot. And now there's not enough room uh, for copper unless I do this. Okay, if there's enough room for copper, I can put into fast inserters here. That one is the servos. And then I just need red circuits over here, which is not going to be easy. Actually, impossible. So instead, I'm going to take a chest, throw that in there, and that'll be enough for like 500 blue inserters. So that'll be enough for now. Cool. And then I'm going to take these and start feeding them in. So thankfully, I will be able to recycle all my... Um, here, let's do it this way, actually. So this way I can recycle my yellow inserters. And that way they'll feel all happy because they got used. Is it even worth using regular inserters anymore when I just don't mind? It's probably worth having a stack. Um, just because I still sort of care about resources, but these are not massively expensive fast inserters. So my new my new default will be fast. But if I know something is going to work with a slow inserter for basically forever, I'll just use slow. Um, you shot one of your own construction drones. Well, I use invisible drones mod uh, to help with the YouTube and Twitch compression algorithms. And so I end up deconstructing my robots on a very regular basis. Happens all the time. Uh, what? Oh. Table harnesses, still a thing. Uh, we need lots more E block ones. I wish you could force shift item into boxes like you can in DSP, Dyson Sphere Program. Uh, force shift item. Force shift. Uh, I don't actually know what. You're saying, I have played Dyson Sphere Program though, so I probably am just not connecting the dots very well here. So we finished fast inserters. What's the next thing? We said, I think mechanical refining, right? Yeah, this is all quality of life. I can ignore that for now. Chemistry, I will need eventually, but I can ignore for now. So I think this one, to first get ore crushers and sorting and then yeah that's where we'll start so i need blue for that and i need blue for all of these so i need to reconfigure my stuff into mass amounts of blue yellow is dead for now i'll take, take these guys back I'll take the red circuits back Red circuits go into that. We need the data cores. Oops. Data cores. Let me go grab some more data cores, actually. 
we'll do that. Uh, let me distribute some of those. Heck, I'll just distribute all of them. I'll need them eventually. And then we need more mechanical parts and red circuits. Oh my gosh. And motors and mechanical parts. Okay, motors. Oh, yes. These are about three times as fast. That feels very good. I'll feed all my motors into here. And then I need a bunch of mechanical parts. <laughs> yellow is so last season, yeah. Stop trying to make yellow happen. Uh, what did I need? Mechanical parts. I didn't forget what I walked into the room for. Go me. I don't need more rods, that was just habit. And mechanical parts. Go in all of this. And then I just need some more rocks. That will last me a while. And red circuits. Okay. Oh, yes. Brandon, I know exactly what you're talking about, and I agree completely. Um, so Dyson Sphere Program, if you had something like this, I could still control click my red circuits, and they would all go into the box, even though these are closed slots. Um... It's kind of interesting because sometimes you want that and sometimes you don't. I'm not 100% sure which way I would prefer it. I think I actually like the Dyson Sphere way. Um, I think most of the time I would rather just be able to get rid of my stuff. Because then it'll get used up first. And that's why I like it. Um, otherwise you just have to manually put things into the other slots. So... That is one of the few ways, or one of the few areas where I feel like Dyson Sphere Program actually might be uh, superior to Factorio. I don't say that very often. There's very few things that are superior to Factorio. But hey, we got 24 more. And yeah, this is a slow process. But uh, it's moving. So I think probably automating... Did I do this? I did that. Automating science is in the near future. I'm just trying to decide if I want to do that before or after. Um, maybe I just build another one of these. And basically feed it myself. Yeah, that's actually not the worst idea. Because I have a bunch of cabling harnesses up here, so I can just feed that in. And Scooby-Doo, we need red circuits, and we'll be good to go. <laughs> it is heresy, but sometimes you gotta be a heretic. It's just how the world works. Um, DSP combat update. Well, that's awesome. Maybe. I actually don't know if I'm excited about that. Am I excited about that? Does Dyson Sphere need combat? I mean, on the one hand, you have the really cool conceptual ideas like interplanetary cannons, you know, railguns that can bomb other planets or whatever. Like, so there's a lot of cool ideas there, but I'm actually not convinced. Um, oh, I need to grab all these. I'm not convinced that the gameplay needs combat. I guess we'll see how that plays out. Could be cool. Uh, feed some red circuits there. What am I missing? I think I spent... Yeah. I probably don't need more than 200. Uh, check. Rods. Check. Inserters. Check. That should be two squares at least. Resistors I don't need. I'm doing it again, guys. I don't remember why I came up here. Was it bricks? Nope, I've got lots of bricks. Was it harnesses? Was it... It was something. Hmm. Oh, it was to give this red circuits. That's what it was. So that'll now make basically 200 e-block ones. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, they, I'm sure they'll add a peaceful option. Because otherwise, that would be ridiculous if they didn't. Oh, you need gray, too. 
Where are all these gray circuits going if not to E block ones? Um, they're going here towards, oh, inserters. Interesting. So inserters are stealing quite a lot of circuits right now because a gray and two reds each really does add up, I guess. So why don't I just give you a bunch of grays and I'll give you a bunch of reds and that'll save me some, some time up here. And I'll take all the e-blocks. Alien invasions, intergalactic drones. Oh, those are just ideas. I thought you were saying it did have those. But yeah, those are great ideas. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how they implement it. It could be cool or it could not be cool. And we're almost done with our research. Thank goodness. Guys, our circuits are backed up. That's a good thing. That is a good thing. Oh. Frick. I wasn't supposed to restrict that. <laughs> I thought that was at 2,000. Okay. Not quite backed up. Alright, let's uh, extend our bus. Oh, I never took a picture in the last episode. I should probably do that. What did I even do in the last episode? I got my circuit build completed. I guess this is what I should take a picture of, because this is what I finished. I did all this. And then in this episode, hopefully I can take a picture of something cool, because otherwise... I don't know. I like to accomplish something in an episode when I can, but this is a pretty slow mod pack, so sometimes it's just the slow, steady progress. The machine growing ever bigger. Okay, I need more belts too. And yeah, should I automate science? Should I wait to automate science? These are the questions. So tin and lead. Um are not backed up, which is interesting. Huh. So I need to increase my tin and lead mining. Let's go do that. Oh crap, I need blocks. I need big time blocks. Okay, take that, we'll make some more uh, splitters here. How about 600? Um, splitters. Okay, I needed red blocks for my miners. Hopefully that's enough to finish out these patches. There's a few more I can fit onto Bobmonium, but not a ton. Bobmonium's so slow to mine. That's only 3.6 right here. So I can definitely fit two more here. And then, looks like six more. What's that get me? 5.2? That's still not great. Man. I like, I like Satisfactory's combat. I do wish you could just turn it off because it's, sometimes it's not compelling enough for me to care all that much about it, but it is pretty rewarding when you get the rifle and can shoot stuff because it, you don't get to shoot stuff for quite a long time. But yeah, Valheim is awesome. Combat in Valheim is quite enjoyable. Um, my radar is kind of in the way of where a mine could go. So let's fix that. And then we will get a few more mining drills here. Oh yeah, and I never hooked that one up to power. I saw that like many, many hours ago and never did anything about it. In true Crydax fashion. Okay, let's get these powered up. Actually, I could fit two more.
Okay, and that will get me. Well, I have to wait till I build them. Okay, what's that got? 5.7. Jeez. Okay. Hopefully that's a little better. Let's look at uh, ore here. Um, and we're looking at these colors. Rubite and Bobmonium. Don't know what happened with Bobmonium here. Rubite's clearly going up, which is good. Did I do something to Bobmonium? What did I break? These are literally all running. So why on earth would the rate... Am I looking at crushed Bobmonium? I think I am. Yes. That's the problem. We want to just look at the raw ore. There we go. So we were at about 200 a minute. Now we're at about 300 a minute. And Rubite went from 135 to 345. So we should be good on lead. 10 is the one I'm worried about. <laughs> How's it going, Russell? You just need to dodge. It's true. I mean, once you get the beat stick, the colonizer, as I have named it, it's not too bad. Even the spiders are beatable, although the big ones can get pretty iffy. But you can still make it work. Um, so what's going on here? I've clearly done something wrong. First of all, I missed a power pole. No, I guess not. Given the way... Okay, now that I have near inserters, here's what we're going to do. Because um, I like better balance when it comes to stuff like lanes. And so I'm going to make sure we kind of have equal usage from both sides here. I think that it helps my brain a lot more to understand the overall usage because then it's almost like a progress bar. If these are red and these are green, I know I'm using about two thirds, something like that. So. Is surviving Mars fun? I've seen it around a few times, but I haven't, uh, haven't really gotten it at this point. Like I don't know enough about it, so I just haven't. Really looked into buying it. Um, a lane balancer could be good. This is already close enough because um, of the half of them being near, half of them being far. Technically, it's not a lane balancer, but it's fine. Um, I do need to fix this, though. So, wait, what am I doing? That's... Do that and that. There we go. Okay. Yes, Bob's inserters. Always the powerhouse. Uh, now I need to get rid of some random ore, otherwise I'm going to be angry at my inventory forever. Uh, Bobmonium goes over here. Check. And I have some plates I can get rid of. Let's see, lead, tin. Okay, that's better. All right. Oh, and mechanical refining's done. Hoop, hoop. Um, yeah. So here we go. Now the real angel's experience begins. It only took this long. Uh, I currently need 16 crushers. These go faster. But that's probably a good thing. This will get me to 12. So I actually need 15. Or sorry, uh, 20. So we're going to want 20 of these. I'm missing some blue blocks. Which is why I can only make 14. So I would really like to have some of these. This is what I was thinking about earlier. And why I was thinking not to do this. Because now I don't have blue blocks that are separate. But that's fine. <laughs> your brain basically exploded with c-block that is how c-block tends to go but that's still fun right isn't that the the factorial promise your brain exploded or your money back they don't make that promise but they should it's pretty true 
Um, grab some more red circuits here. Space block could be fun. I think given I just did Warp Torio, I, I might be vanilla out for a bit because Warp Torio was pretty much vanilla. But I'm sure I'll try Space Block at some point because you know, kind of like Pokemon at this point. I gotta, I gotta play them all. Gotta catch them all. Factorio mods. Gotta catch them all. So we need some of these for ourselves. I'm just gonna, oh my gosh, I have nothing. So in for space, I have had my eye on that, Alec, you, um, give me some things. I probably will play in for space at some point, maybe this summer when I have a little bit more time. Um, cause I think right now I'm a bit, I'm full enough with pure angels and I'm imagining Pinodon's alternative energy is going to come out before I'm even done with angels. So until I have some more time this summer, I don't know if I have a bunch more space for games. All right. So production blocks, I only need one each. So that's nice. Twenty seven motors need a few more motors here. Or oh, wait, I have a bunch here. There we go. So bird, I actually did try Omni Matter. Um, I have an ABZ playthrough. The Z stands for Zelos, which is the guy that made Omni Matter. Uh, so I did a Angel Bob's Omni, which was pretty fun. Oh, I'm putting that the wrong direction. Better to wait for Infraspace. Yeah, that makes sense, LQ. I feel like I generally try to wait anyway, but I am excited to play it eventually. All right, do we have enough? Ten? Nope. Five more. There's two. How many laps can I run? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Oh, only six laps. Man, really got to get my exercise in. Okay, so these ore crushers are going to be awesome. We need the fast inserters for... Oh, I just did not mean to craft another one. All right, so five will then be enough for a full belt, which is great. Um, I do need to think about how I'm going to manage this with inserters. Okay, so the rate is three. I'm pretty sure I could do that from one sideways inserter like this. Or I'll just do two going straight in. That's probably easier. Um, given I have an odd number, I'll make them all the same spacing. And then I need to figure out the output. Gases or water, new mechanics for the game, mod support. Yeah, I feel like for all these games, they're all playing out of Factorio's playbook, which is mo the, the name of the game is, you know, healthy modding community. Because I think, I, I mean, I'm not going to say all of it because that would be wrong. Factorio Vanilla is still very good and very fun. And it would be a very popular game even if mods couldn't exist. But modding has it created a world. I need 4.5. Uh, these are not 4.5, so I either need three or I need two, like I was already doing before. Actually, one of those might be good enough. 4.2. Oh, sorry, 4.5 is the right. So, um, what do I like more? Weird belt stuff or weird or just three inserters? Eh, maybe I'll just do three inserters. It's definitely simpler to do that. Uh, in any case, I think a lot of games have taken a uh, a note from Factorio's playbook. Although doing it this way makes it hard to because I'm going to need two belts because of the crushed stone. Kind of makes it harder to balance that out. Um, 
Interesting. So that has inspired me to do it the other way. Keep forgetting I can just flip these. Okay. So that for each building. This is going to make five sets of 4.5. That means I can handle three belts. Gosh, this is actually kind of annoying because two belts can't go on one side. Or uh, Yeah, two of these are going to make nine, which is slightly more than a single lane. Um... Oh yeah, the Factorio expansion, they hired uh, the guy who did uh, space exploration. So what I'm thinking now is I don't really want to just do mergers for all of these. Uh, maybe I'll just uh, space them out. How many times can I change my mind here? It's a good question. I'm sure... Uh, someone on YouTube will be willing to count how many times I've changed my mind it, just with this Sapphire thing and leave a comment. Let me know. I think it's been at least three. Um, yeah, okay. So what we're doing here is slightly less insane. This, These three alone cannot make a full belt. They can only make 13.5. So as long as I try to space out the uh, the sides here, like I just alternate every other, maybe is good. So away, close, away, close, away, close, away, close, away. I technically have slightly more weighted towards the far side there. And then for these, it's going to be balanced. Um, And then that'll come down. Okay. This is going to work. Crap. I need space for power poles here. All right. We did it, folks. All right. And then that should be good. Because a splitter can handle 30 items a second as long as it has room for all of, all of it. Um, yeah. Now, I am probably going to have way too much stone after all this, and now I'm going to need to double my outputs. But we got there. We got there. We figured it out. A full belt of ore in to a full belt out. That is something worth blueprinting here. Because I'm going to do the same thing for all my other builds. Copper right now is the most important one. And I think I'd like to just... You know, guys, it would have been a smart Crydax who would have thought, hey, maybe I should space these out so if I want to fit a second one in between, I have room. But I'm exactly one tile short of that. Um... The good news is I left all this space. So that's what this space is for. Actually. Yeah, yeah, we're just going to copy this. We're going to copy this. We're going to put it down here because this is where I have room. And we're going to bring another belt so this actually needs something like this. Uh, I guess it should go down here. Yeah. Like so. And then we have another belt of mixed. And that just needs to come over here. 
Because we'll get to metallurgy eventually, but for now this will get me a lot more copper. Help speed things up a bit. Um, yeah, let's do that. Get all the inserters built. These ones are fine to be yellow inserters, so I have no need to spend blue inserters. And then power poles. Get those all placed. Okay, and then connect it up to power. All right, sorry guys, I'm not keeping up with chat, but I love that you guys are chatting with each other. It's great. Um, wait, what game are you guys talking about? I missed something. Oh, I think you guys are talking about uh, Infraspace. Yes. I'm excited to try that at some point, but not yet. Okay, steer tight. We're going to put this back in the crushers. It's kind of a long trip up to the crushers. <sighs> wow. Okay, we did it. We did it. Now we're getting a lot more copper. Look at that. And we're not quite at a full belt of steerotite in the first place. Um, that's because, well, we only get 9.3 a second. Our patch just isn't big enough. So we're definitely going to need some trains at some point, you know, going over to these big patches. Six million over here should last at least a little while. Make all sorts of blueprints. Stuff like that. Um, now we need to keep going on research. So this one is interesting. There's cupric and ferrous mixtures, which can get you manganese. And manganese is weird because it's really good at making steel. Um, if you have equal parts steel and manganese, you can make extra. But what I've always done is just I use silicon because that's not that hard to get either. And you can get extra steel from silicon. So um, if you haven't played Angels and you're wondering what the heck I'm talking about, don't worry, we'll get there. Um, we're going to start much simpler with, oh my gosh, look at all these researches. We're going to start much simpler with this one once we can get to it, which is just you get iron ore, you melt it down into ingots um, like that. And then those ingots, sorry, you, you cast, you basically cast the ore into ingots and then you melt that down into plates is the way that that works. But we need to research steel first because these buildings all cost steel. Oh no, they don't. Wait, what? This is very weird to me. So one of the hardest things about these buildings is that they cost steel normally in like C block or something. And so I'm very surprised they don't have like construction block two getting unlocked and that requires steel. Cause this, this is the one construction block two that requires steel. I'm very surprised that that isn't right after steel processing. And then you need construction block twos to make these. I'm happy you don't, because it means we can actually already afford these buildings and we won't need to make a bunch of steel. Oh, it is always green circuits. At least here it's uh, red circuits, but red circuits is basically circuit one, because the gray circuits are circuit zero. And we need a lot more uh, stone bricks and motors are looking good for now. I do need mechanical parts. Uh, what else do I need? I don't think... I mean, maybe I will need some more motors. We'll put another 100 over here. And I need lots of mechanical parts. How are we doing with that? Uh, pretty good. It's, I might need to set up another mechanical part crafter. I feel like I've set up 17 of those throughout the game. And then some more red circuits. Finally, this one needs more cabling. Uh, let's grab a little stockpile here. Stockpile of cabling. 
200 goes in here. Okay. I'll just throw some red circuits in. And have we built up some more? Yeah. We have... Hey, Calame. Thanks for the, the chat. Good to, good to see you. I've enjoyed bringing pure angels to everyone. Uh, I didn't really know even what all it entailed until recently, so I'm kind of happy I found it because it does feel significantly different. I thought it was just going to feel like angels, but oh, angels in Bob's Angels without the Bobs in something like C-Block, but it really kind of feels like its own game so far, so that's been fun. Uh, we need to throw stuff in here. That's one piece and mechanical parts. Although this one needs four times as many mechanical parts because it makes four of these for every one that these get. So I should like take uh, this 400 and put them all in here. And that will help things be more balanced and then I need some more red blocks and motors so yeah we got lots more red circuits that's good gray circuits I feel like I'm doing fine on gray but I can always supplement the north part of my base with some extras motors I'll just take them why not they're mostly iron and we have plenty of iron right now so, yeah, I could even put some uh, bricks in here. So that lasts a while. And then if I really want to be slightly saving myself work, we're get, we'll get as close to automation as we can get without actually automating. Um, I can do that. Because we're doing a lot of these blue researches. And I need some more reds. How are we doing on reds? 50 each. That's okay. Yeah, so many people from YouTube today. I'm glad everyone could make it. Thanks for being here. Um, I missed one of them. There we go. So that's another 300 as long as I have some red circuits. That's plenty for now. But I will need some more iron and copper in the long term. For those data analyzers. Um, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I need more of these bad boys. As always, keep feeding. Take some more blues. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I wanted stone brick. And yeah, how many of these do I want? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll put four of those to analyzers. Hey, thanks, Alec Q. Today has been a day of progress. That is for sure. I feel like we're still in the, like, not even early game section, which is crazy, because we're at, what are we at now? Ten and a half hours uh, of playtime. But at the same time, I like that. It's It's been challenging. And I like challenging. All right, I'll give you some more reds. I need, oh yes, I need iron. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm supposed to stretch and drink some water according to point redemption things. So I should probably do that. Oh, you guys trying to keep me healthy. How dare you? Oh, it's so good. Water is so good. Stretch the neck. Oh, yes. Stretch. Stretch. I should, like, turn my back a little bit. Man. You just don't move enough when you're playing games. Okay, so we probably need more than four of these, because this research is taking forever. But I guess it's the normal time. Eight. I think it's eight minutes per research right now. Um, is that even, 
Hold on. Why is this so hard? So each one of these uses one blue core per 15 seconds. So four blue cores a minute. So I'm using 16 blue cores a minute. And this production rate is 12 blue cores a minute. So actually, I'm using more blue cores than I can produce anyway. If I did math right. Did I do math right? Yeah, rate calculator doesn't work, or max rate calculator doesn't work on this. Because these are research speed one, so all the speeds are what you see. Yeah, so this uses four a minute. That makes sense. So we are using 16 a minute, which means these shouldn't be building up, but they are, so I'm very confused. Yes, I did make some Helmod tutorials. Um, I think they're pretty handy if you haven't used it before because the UI is pretty difficult to interpret. Something is wrong here. I'm trying to figure out what I calculated. Because if I'm making 12 data cores a minute, but I'm researching 16 a minute, we shouldn't be gaining extra blue data cores here. So what gives? The cost is 30 seconds for two data cores. Yeah, I know. I, I Someday I'm going to switch to rate calculator. Rygard keeps pestering me about it, the, the saint that he is. But uh, I just like the UI. I like the UI of max rate calculator. I like my inputs here, my outputs here, something about the, the look of it. It just is more visually appealing to me. And why am I getting more data cores than I should be? I'm so confused. Two packs every 30 seconds. So I'm using eight packs every 30 seconds. That is 16 packs every minute. Clearly, I'm calculating something incorrectly. Because these should be underproducing, and yet they're overproducing. So, what is going on? I can't figure it out. Maybe these times are wrong? Time needed to research one unit in the lab. Something is... I'm wrong or the game's wrong, and chances are it's me, but at the same time, I can't figure out why this isn't researching at the rate I would expect it to. Like if I, let's, let's do this, uh, data core. So blue data cores right now, usage-wise, uh, looks like that's 16 a minute though, right? Right, you know, it's kind of fluctuating. Um, but I think it's averaging 16 a minute. So how how are these making more than that. I am thonkinating as hard as I can and I cannot figure this out. Um, all four of these assemblers put together should not be making more than the labs are researching and yet this number keeps going up. I can't figure this out. If uh, if you guys know, please leave a comment and let me know what's going on here. Seemingly, uh, something is telling me the wrong numbers. I don't think it's this. I think this is accurate. Based on this t 10 seconds to craft one should mean three a minute because these have a crafting speed of half. So 12, 12 a minute total. These research labs are maybe slower than they say they are? They say they're a research speed of one, however. Is there like some weird bonus? No. So these should be using four a minute. This would be 16 a minute. We are... Uh... Well, that's just weird. 
it shows it's producing 12 a minute. This shows consuming 16 a minute. And yet that whole time we were gaining data cores here. I don't know. That was all very weird. That's all been very, very, very weird. And I have no idea what was going on. However, that does not need to be something I focus on for this entire time. Oh, I'm just so curious. So curious. We did a research. We have steel. We should look at that. Um, so steel we can make with glowing hot iron plates, which are just basically twice baked iron. So if we throw iron back in, then we get uh, we get glowing hot plates, and then eight of those in an assembler can make a steel plate. There are better ways to make steel, but I may need to do that. I may not, though, because we learned these buildings can be made without steel. So I may not need steel before I have um, this one, which lets me use iron ingots, which is far, far better. So I'll shoot for that before I do anything crazy. Um, I will need some more red science analyzers. How are we doing over here? Pretty good with those. Got another 90. And these are set to go for a while, uh, which is good. Okay, so that's still at 15. Maybe it is decreasing. Maybe I just... There was a weird lull in using them or something, or I put them in manually. Oh, that's what it was. I think I added more blue cores manually, so these weren't being grabbed from the belt. I think that's what was happening. So you probably already, all, all on YouTube, you already wrote the comment down below explaining to me what I just figured out. You guys were faster than me. Man. Yeah, because now this is decreasing, which is what I thought was going to happen. Oof, crazy. Crazy stuff. Um, what can I do? I can... Oh, jeez. Uh, I can make more power. Let's do that. Oh, crap. Mechanical parts are very slow to craft, so we're going to grab these. Okay. So more power is always a good thing. Uh, Calame, yes. Bob's has the crushed coal. Coke as fuel. Um, 840 steam. I'm actually going to need another, uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, the thing with the water. I can't remember the name of it. Off offshore pump, I think they are called. Gonna need another one of those. Okay. Hey, thank you so much, RRB Russell, for the Prime sub. I very much appreciate it. Also, FYI, for those of you on YouTube, if you have Amazon Prime, you Amazon Prime, you get a free Twitch sub. Now, I'm not saying you should use it on me, but you should use it on somebody, because otherwise you're just, you're not spending Amazon's money. So, you should definitely spend Amazon's money and go give somebody a sub. Um, in any case, we are not going to have enough water for all this, so I need to go get another offshore pump. And we've had a name in game redemption, so I get to practice my pixel art again. And write Alecu's name in concrete. And we'll connect this up. And then I think we'll probably be done with the episode, because we've, we've done some good work. And our researches are finally starting to get there, so we can do metallurgy. Which I'm very excited about. Um, okay, so I probably just need to like split this and then connect here. So these ones use... 720, that's fine. These ones use 600, that's fine. You can pretty much rely on a thousand per second from any off any pipe combination. If it's really long, you can't rely on a thousand, but you can always get 900, even if you have like a pretty insane amount of pipes. It would be hard to get less than 900. 
All right, so Alec Q A L E C C Q U. And then, uh, do you want the rounded letters? So for C, do you do you like that or that? Because some people like the rounded letters, some people don't. And we have options here. Like even the L can be rounded. Um, C C Q. I've never made a Q before. I'm a bit worried. Um, yeah, I'm a bit worried about the Q. How could I make a Q? Is that a Q? Gosh. That's a Q. Uh, can you make a Q in a 3x5? That is not a Q. Uh, I don't know if a Q in a 3x5 is possible with these factorio squares. Um, so what I will do, oh, actually, wait, I can do this. Oh, crap, that doesn't work the way I wanted it to. That's a Q, but it just goes outside by one tile. Um, yeah, it needs to have a gap in the middle, otherwise it doesn't look like a Q. And it needs to extend diagonally, so... Okay. There we go. Oh, I won't forget about the Q, Alec Q. It must be in there. Actually, I think it looks weirder being like that. That's better. There we go, that's fine. It changes the kerning a little bit, and we can't put the U over here, otherwise... You know... Then it's... Maybe actually that does work. Let's try it. Oh yeah, that looks fine. I like that. Sweet. The first result had Q as the only 3x6 letter. Yep, that's exactly what I was thinking, Calame. I'm like, how on earth do I make 3x5Q? Oh man. Okay, well, hopefully you guys on YouTube enjoy that. Um, let me know if you don't. You know, sometimes I like to do things in between the YouTube episodes on Twitch. Sometimes I like to do them during the episodes. I think it is fun and engaging to get to be a part of the the twitch interaction when you watch a youtube video that's my opinion however if you disagree feel free to let me know be nice about it but you know i care about what what you guys enjoy as well so i'm, I'm trying to figure out you know how much twitch interaction is too much how much is the right amount i like a decent amount so that's probably what i'll do but i am curious if you guys have thoughts in any case we have finished metallurgy that feels good. I'm going to take a little screenshot of that research. Let's craft our first, uh, whatchamacallit. I think half of the people came here from YouTube. I pretty much everyone came here from YouTube. I've, I've had very few people that have found me on Twitch, like from the get go. Um, I do need more of these though for buildings. So you know what I should do? Uh, no, this is fine. I'm just going to feed a few more in here. Maybe like 26. Oh, these need E zeros. I don't even have any E zeros anymore. Nothing I've been building has needed uh, these guys E zeros. Okay, so we have blast furnaces and these things are awesome. So we have no recipes for them, but we have them. Um, we will have to research these to get the recipes, but the amount of speed that these things put together will do. I can basically do what all these stone furnaces are doing with like two, two blast furnaces, a couple induction furnaces, and some casting units. So it all goes pretty fast once we get it going. So that's what we'll start with uh, in the next episode. We're going to just jump into iron and copper smelting and hopefully we can get those researches done and in the next episode we'll be building that so for everyone on youtube thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you think down in the comments below and i'll see you all next time